Welcome back, my fellow game development enthusiasts. Today we're gonna kick things up and off and continue working on the vodka run game. We're gonna take this baby to the next level by adding some real deal elements that will make you feel like you're running through the back streets of Russia. We're talking buildings, obstacles, fences, grass and trash all over the place. It's gonna be wild. We will start by adding a variety of buildings to the site environment. We'll create an array of buildings, prefabs and adjust the spawn rate to make them appear more or less frequently. That will give our game that authentic Russian vibe and make you feel like you're really there. Next up, we're gonna shake things up and adjust the spawn rate of obstacles. But we're not stopping there, oh no. We're gonna spawn those suckers randomly with random rotation, making the game more challenging and unpredictable. You will never know what's coming your way. Now, let's talk camera. We had some issues with the camera script, but fear not my friends, we've come up with the solution. We're gonna make the camera follow the player and the constant distance, smoothing out the movement and making the game a joy to play. To keep things interesting, we're gonna add a variety of obstacles and adjust the spawn rate. We'll be grabbing some first free models of couch, barrel and cardboard pile and placing them strategically throughout the game. You will have to use your wits to navigate around them. Now, we can't have you running through the streets of Russia without some proper boundaries. That's where fences come in. We'll create an error of fences prefabs to block off certain areas and create a more immersive environment. You will feel like you're really in the thick of it. But wait, there is more. We're gonna add grass to the game and adjust it to make it look like it's growing around the buildings and obstacles. It will make the game more visually appealing and add some overall atmosphere. And of course, we can't forget the trash. It's Russia after all. Now, let's talk optimization. We've been struggling to keep up with the demands of the game, but we've got a few tricks up our sleeve. We tried occlusion culling, but it didn't work for us because we don't have static object or I just don't know how to use it properly. If you know, give me a word about it, please. So we came up with a solution to destroy trash prefabs and grass after the camera passes them. It's not perfect, but it gets some job done. And now it's time to see it all in action. We will play through playable prototype and see how all these elements work together. Just imagine, we started with a rectangle and now we've got a full-blown game that will knock your socks off. That is it for today my friends, thanks for tuning in and sticking with us through this wild ride. We will be back with in the next video, continuing to develop what run and making it the best game it can be. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your feedback in the comments below. Happy game developing!